Let's haul her in one, the net's filled. Are you listening? Sure, I hear you, what you said, Charlie. Let's get that catch in. I don't like fishing in this lonely cove with Dan Tempest away. There'll be plenty of pirates in these waters, and Spanish men of war. You are too worried, Charlie. Captain Dan and his Sultana will be back tomorrow. Maybe tonight. I'd feel better if I saw them sailing. Come on, let's haul her in. Hey, Charlie, look! You were worried for nothing. They are back. It's the Sultana. I think I see my brother, Armando. And there is Captain Dan at the wheel. They see us. They are heading towards us. Armando! Captain Dan, welcome! Sultana. Yes, impossible. This is what I thought. But it's true, Senor Beamish. I see her with my own eyes. You saw a ship which fired on you. A Spaniard, perhaps, or a pirate. Not the Sultana. Not Dan Tempest's ship. Senor, you must believe me. Now, sit down, Juan. You've had a shock. You're upset. But, but, Senor, I know my own brother. I see him there on deck. Armando. Or, or maybe Captain Dan. I'm not sure which. Exactly. You're not sure which. And I'd say play tricks on your eyes. Senor, please. I know the Sultana as I know the face of my wife. I hope not. Now, listen, Juan. You were quite right to come and report this to me. But you're not to mention this story to anyone, you understand? Anyone. That's an order. But, but, an order from the acting governor of New Providence. Captain Tempest is responsible for our sea patrol. And also for the safety of this island. I trust him. The people trust him. Say, si, senor. But they do say... Once a pirate, always a pirate. That's not true, not in the case of Dan Tempest. Is it not? You would not think so if you would hurt them as I have. At my house, sometimes at night, when they think I am asleep, Captain Tempest, Gaff with his hook, Armando, my own brother, they talk of old times when they were pirates. What's that? Pirates! Dan Tempest! Rubbish. Right on the east knock, sir. Right, right, it looks like Tempest, sir. What's burning? Van Brew's storehouse. I didn't know Tempest is responsible. See for yourself, sir, down there in the harbor. That's the Sultana. That's the Sultana, all right. There's no doubt of it, I'm afraid, sir. Perhaps there's been a mutiny. Mm. That's the point, Bassett. Round up every able-bodied man to fight those fires. Call up the shore patrol, arm them. Tell them to be prepared for attack on any part of the island. Very good, sir. My storehouse, it's on fire. I don't understand why Dan would do this. So loot the island just like the common pirate that he is. I warned you not to entrust the defense of this island to an ex-pirate, didn't I? I told you he'd turn against us sooner or later, didn't I? You did, several times. Well, now it's happened. What are you going to do about it? Frankly, Mr. Ambro, I'm still not convinced that Tempest is responsible. Ship's boat's pulling away from the East Dock, sir. The pirates are on their way back to the Sultana. It is. Damn Tempest. Well, now you're convinced. Exactly. Dan Tempest reverting to piracy, just as I always said it. Mr. Beamish, I suggest you call an emergency meeting of the council at once. And if I might suggest, sir, seeing that Mr. Van Brew was right about Tempest after all... Get out! When I want suggestions from you, I'll ask for them. Get out, you hear? Get out! Sir.
Tempest! Don Esteban. Yes, senor. Don Esteban. Representative of His Imperial Majesty, King Philip of Spain. What is the meaning of this masquerade, Your Excellency? Your resemblance to Tempest is... You like it, eh? I don't understand, Your Excellency. Seeing you like this and your men attacking me the way they did, I, I'm afraid I... You are confused. Good. That is exactly what I set out to do. Create confusion. Bueno, Miss West. But uh, perhaps you will forgive me for bringing you here so unceremoniously when I tell you what I am going to do with your help. But what can I do? You can help me to extract a ransom from your fellow townspeople. A ransom of 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds? But, Excellency, you have already destroyed my warehouse. Oh, your share in the ransom will more than compensate you for that. Now, at this moment, my men are on shore, posting proclamations demanding the ransom. It will be your business to see that the Council accepts my demand. You understand that I would have to be very careful about this. No one would have to suspect that I am in any way involved. Be as careful as you wish, Senor Van Brugh. But see that my demand is met. Or shall we say, Dan Tempest's demand. Precisely. That is the cream of the jest, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you see, with this masquerade, I shall destroy Tempest's reputation once and for all. And then, without the famous hero Dan Tempest to defend the islands, it'll be a simple matter to take New Providence. But how on earth did you, did you capture the Sultana? Oh, that was uh, very easy. I was flying a Dutch flag. I hailed the Sultana and told Tempest that I had been attacked by a Spanish raider. Then I asked him to help me by taking off my wounded and running them to Cat Island. As soon as my wounded were on board, slings and crutches away, pistols and cutlasses out and ole! It was all over in two minutes. So Tempest, he's dead? No. He escaped? He's here. A prisoner. Locked up in the storage hold of his own ship with his crew for company. It is your prisoner. Why go on with this? Why not? Because, my dear Van Brew, it is much wiser to keep Tempest alive until we have collected the ransom. In case we need to, uh, to use him, eh? Isn't <laughs> 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 there that, Dan? What do you bet they're laughing at us? Very likely. Perhaps we deserve to be laughed at. Laugh while well, you can, you, you Spanish onion. we are laughing on the other side of your fight when I get out of here. When you get out of here, you'll be a prisoner in chains like the rest of us. You can stow that kind of talk, Taffy. We ain't done for yet. If this isn't being done for, I'd like to know what is. I tell you to pipe down. If you tell me to pipe down, go for it. Excuse me, my friends. Sit down, Gaff. If we fight each other, this is just what Don Esteban wants. Save your energies to fight the enemy. How can we fight the patient enemy? Are we locked in this patient hound? Why don't you blast your way out, Gaff? That's what you usually do, isn't it? Esteban thought of that one before he shoved us in here. If I tried to blast down that door, I'd blow us all to Davy Jones. This holds a mass of gunpowder, including the barrel you're sitting on. We've got to face it, Dan. There's no way out of this. Yes, there is. There is? Well, tell us uh, There is a way out, but the problem is that only one of us can go. That's you, of course, Dan. No, I, I think it should be Armando. Me? But why me? Because you're Spanish by birth, and they're liable to be tougher with you than the rest of us. So I'll let them be tough. I think Pop should go. He is the eldest. Ah, all the more reason for me to stay. I've had my life. If anybody's going, ought to be a young man like young Taffy here. Oh, Gaff. He seems to be the one with the most fight in him. I still think it ought to be Dan. Because whoever gets out of here goes ashore. And they've got to warn Beamish what's happened. But any one of you can do that. Not as well as you, Dan. You're his friend. I know what we'll do. We'll put it to the boat. There's no need. You're right. I was the one who got you into this mess. So I'd better be the one to get you out of it. Right, then. Let's get down to business. How do we work it, Danny? Well, my friend, it's time for you to return to the island. Dia, man the boat. Senor Van Brugh is going ashore. Remember, 
It is up to you to convince the Council that the ransom terms must be accepted, eh? That won't be difficult. No. As the leading merchant in New Providence, they will listen to you. Well, vaya con Dios. That, uh, that is uh, Tempest and his men. They do that when they're hungry or when they're thirsty. Sometimes they do it just because they are bored. Do not let it disturb you. Adios. if he does reach the shore. By this time, the name of Tempest is so hated in New Providence. If he dare show his face, they will shoot him on sight. Proclamation of a state of emergency. Whereas this crown colony of New Providence is threatened by a band of pirates led by one Daniel Tempest, a state of emergency is hereby declared. And all armed citizens are enrolled in the service of the king. The said Daniel Tempest and his crew, having committed hostile acts against the lives and property of our people, are hereby condemned as traitors, pirates and outlaws. And all or any of them may be shot on sight. Signed, Edward Beamish, Lieutenant, Acting Governor, New Providence. I won't pay it. I admire your spirit, sir, but the fact is the ransom will have to be paid. The lives and property of our people are more important than a few pounds in the treasury. A few pounds? How am I going to account for the amputee for 10,000? And how are you going to account for the destruction of New Providence, sir? I don't know. But I will not pay a blackmailer. He always comes back for more. With great respect, Mr. Acting Governor, this is a financial matter, and it's for the council to decide, and not yourself alone. All right. We'll put it to the vote. A show of hands should settle it. Those in favor. And then a secret ballot, if you please, Lieutenant. No man likes to vote openly for surrender. Mr. Bassett, bring the ballot box. We won't pay the ransom. No, no, we won't. Bring them up and be done with it. Decision is against you, Mr. Bibish. So I see. The only question that now remains is who is to deliver the ransom. 
Now, that is a task which I'm perfectly willing to undertake myself. Now. If anyone has to do this shameful thing, I'm the one to do it. I hardly think... Gentlemen, the meeting is closed. Citizens of New Providence, your council has voted to pay ransom. Blast the council! We are not going to give these pirates Tempest any 10,000 pounds. We give him nothing. We'll give him a rope instead. What kind of a council is it that votes to give in like crawling, spineless cowards? There is only one answer. Fight them. Kill them, if you can. Don't you know me better than that, my friends? Mr. Beamish, you cannot do this thing. It is better they kill us all than we return to the days of the pirates. <laughs> we are a disciplined community. We will abide by the council's vote. The members feel that the lives of our people are worth more than money. Mm. Now go back to your homes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, what, uh, A truce, sir. Oh. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Bassett. If you please, sir. There's really no need for us both to go. Perhaps if you stay here and I can... We're both going, Mr. Bassett. That's an order. Everybody think we fired on the town. Esteban's holding the whole town to ransom. So we're going to take this ship back. What, the five of us? It's the only way. Now then, we'll make for the armory, then up for the hatches. Keep quiet, come on. I'm rowing the regulation stroke, sir. This trip is not covered by regulations, Mr. Bassett. This is certainly the first time I ever heard of an acting governor delivering ransom money in person to pirates. I'm not referring to the ransom. This is what I'm delivering to Dan Tempest. But the ransom notice said unarmed, sir. And my proclamation said shoot at sight. Row, Mr. Bassett, row! I know how you feel about Tempest, but... What can the two of us do against a whole shipload of armed pirates? You're not doing anything, Mr. Bassett, except to hand over this chest. But I am personally going to kill Tempest. If it's the last thing I do, it will be. Look, Lieutenant Beamis, sir, you're young. You can't just throw away your life like this for the sake of... Don't argue! No! <laughs>
Whose ship now, Conquistador? your ransom money. Much good may it do you. Because I brought this too. And finally, may I present my last exhibit. Representative of His Majesty, King Philip of Spain, Don Fernand Esteban, ex-conquistador. And if you want any further confirmation of my story, Edward, I'm sure His Excellency will be glad to provide it. I don't know what to say. I'm ashamed. So you should be. So slow, missing me at ten paces. Thank heavens I did. You know, Edward, I'm ashamed of you too. You've every right to be. I don't blame you for falling for Esteban's trick. Anybody could do that. But were you really going to give him the ransom? That. Mr. Bassett, the chest. Aye, aye, sir. Let's have a look, Governor. What is it? Pieces of eight? Gold and Not a luck, Gaff. Just cannonballs. Congratulations, Edward. You know, it'd been worth it if he'd got the ransom just to see his face when he opened the chest. <laughs> Let's go a-roving and join the bargain. 